courtesy of Le Moda. They sent over some beautiful straight hair. Yeah. I went ahead and made a cute little quick weave wig. So let's jump into the tutorial and I'll be back with my thoughts on this hair. So as I stated before, I've been wearing this hair in a half up, half down situation. So here I am just taking everything down and gonna brush it out. This hair has been so beautiful and easy to work with. I haven't flat ironed it or anything. I've just been wearing it literally in its natural state. And I haven't had a problem at all. So I'm going to take a little bit of this foam lotion. I find that this one is a little bit more watery than the one that I usually use. But I actually liked the way, or I guess the end result better. So I'm just reforming that part because I liked where I had it. Brushing everything into place using that foam lotion to set my part. And I'm going to use the curling iron to reinforce it and make it look a little bit more done, I guess. I'm going to take the smaller section and I'm going to pin it up. And then I'm going to just turn it into a few different sections. That makes it easier to curl. I'm going to take my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum and add a little bit to each section as I go around. And I'm going to be curling with this Babyliss Curling Iron. I believe this is a one and a half inch. And I'm curling away from my face. Make sure that you do smaller sections. I kind of did different size sections all the way around. Some were bigger than others. And I did find that at the end I had to go back and redo some of the bigger sections. So just do smaller sections all the way around. And it will help to make everything look a little bit more cohesive. And you won't have to do anything for a second time. So if you want, you can also pin curl. So as you do each section, I added a little bit of my Sebastian Shapers for a little bit of hold. Curl away from your face. In this case, I could have cut this piece into two different sections because this is a large section. And then when you let it go, you can go ahead and pin curl it. I chose not to this time around, but if you really want your curls to last, or if you're doing them in advance, say the night before or early in the day before you have an event to go to, definitely go ahead and pin curl. Now to the top section on the side. This is basically going to be the part that's going to frame my face so if you want you can go ahead and cut and add layers to this section but you definitely want to do super small pieces for this portion so continue to curl away from your face whenever you do your curl I would say leave it leave the flat iron connected to your hair for about 15 to 20 seconds if you want beach waves then go ahead and alternate so you curl away from your face on one then curl towards on one curl away and then towards and that'll make the perfect beach wave i find that the sebastian shapers or any kind of holding spray that has a light to medium hold will help to make the curls last a little bit longer if you want more fluffy curls then go with no product at all also, the serum adds shine and kind of cancels out any frizz. So hold for 15 seconds and then let it go. And we're down to about two more sections on this side. Also, I'm going to go ahead and skip out on showing you the opposite side. It's the same thing. I just don't want to be too repetitive. So this is the last section on this side. And then we're going to jump right into a baby hair. Now, the lace frontal on this um wig is pretty dense. I would say that it took me about an hour to tweeze out this hairline and as you can see it's pretty full. Because you have a dense frontal you definitely don't want to go too thin with the baby hair or it won't really match up. But you can definitely go thinner um, if that's your preference. It's always a goal to make sure that your frontal it looks gradient for a more natural appearance. <laughs>
results. Now I'm finding that when I curl longer, fuller hair, it's best to go with a smaller flat iron. I picked this one up because this unanimously seems like the one that most people use. The baby list, I believe this is a one and a half inch. Um, I'll leave it down below. This, either it's a one and a half or it's like a one and a quarter. What I have in is their straight hair. Um, I have this 20, 22, 22, 22, and a 20-inch 13 by 4 lace frontal. I did bleach the knots. This is the box that the hair came in. It did ship via VHL. Or I'm sorry, VHL. DHL. It got here in about three um, business days max. And then it did give the... Um, what do you call it? This is a wig cap liner. I believe this is what this is called. Um, and then I have one bundle left. So what um, this is a 20 inch bundle. I really, really love this hair. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, in my Insta story, I did post a video, um, a quick video showing you some really long hair with the back was like bone straight. And then the frontal was like pulled forward and it was in a braid. And I was talking about how beautiful it was. That was this hair. And this hair, I've been wearing it, um... Since I posted that video, I've been wearing it. I never flat ironed it or anything. I just kind of left the black, the back as, as it was. And I went ahead and put the front and the top knot because I knew I wanted to, to do some curls. But I wanted to actually wear the hair for a few days before I did it. In those few days that I wore this hair, I did not put any product. I didn't um, put a flat iron through it or anything. And it just looked so awesome. Um, the only thing I used was like my foam wrap lotion to separate um, the back from the front and kind of help to um, mold the top knot bun um it took me forever to tweeze this hairline i was in the bathroom for about an hour um plucking and tweezing my life away so i will say that the frontal is very full very dense which is a good thing if you like your frontals to be super full but if you do like your frontals to be like thin and natural then i will it is going to take you a little bit to um get it more natural but um this works for me especially because i was doing a side part if i was doing a straight back or like up i definitely would make it a little bit more gradient and go further but again, this is my 20 inch bundle. The hair was super, super nice. Some of the best hair I've had in a while. Let me show you guys what the hair looks like from the back. And yeah, I don't have any problems with this hair. I feel like when I pull it apart, since I've curled it, then I just go ahead and play with it and curl it back up and the curls revert right back away. If you want your hair fuller, again, use that fourth bundle. But the three bundles worked out just fine for me. But like if you want the ends to be much more full, go ahead and use that fourth bundle bundle yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out limota i have all the information in the description bar for you guys to check out thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one